Good morning. Welcome to Take Me Out to the Ball Game today here on the Armchair Quarterbacks. Uh, we're going to get into some quick news and notes and get you on your way on uh, here Thursday, July 8th, 2021. Wimbledon's going on today, and we've got some interesting matches that as, as we come down the stretch for the both the men and women will be playing their championships, obviously, this weekend. But today in the semifinals, the first game's already gotten started, so I, I'll just jump to the second game. Uh, Pliskova versus Sabalenka. That is at 1030 a.m. Eastern start. And so you'll get that today. Tomorrow, real quick, if you're wanting to know about the men's semifinals, which are which are now set, you've got Berrettini versus Horkas. <laughs> exactly who the hell. But the big one that you're going to care about is it Novak Jokovic. He is in the semis. They have not announced a time for that yet. He's up against Denis Shapovalov. Now, the, here's the thing is that I wonder if this is going to hurt the the ratings because Jokovic is the only really big name that's left in Wimbledon. I don't know if that really matters in the world of, of tennis or if people just realistically uh, watch, watch it because they're going to watch it to me. Jokovic is going to have to be in the finals for me to watch that. The women's are more, more likely to watch regardless of who wins. Uh, but Pliskova is essentially who, who I've been, pulling for i've been watching her since uh, last year during the pandemic so there you go with that uh the nba finals they resume tonight eight o'clock eastern i'm sorry nine o'clock eastern bucks and Suns. Suns are up one game to none no major injuries to report and so that game i believe the Suns are now a five and a half point favorite going into tonight's game up one game to none after tonight, there won't be another game until Sunday. So if the Bucs can find a way to pull off the upset and get a few more days rest for Anto DeCumpo and his ankle, his knee, everything can say alone, because, I mean, that knee went backwards. Uh, they might be, in some, might be in pretty good shape. So this game is huge for the Phoenix Suns. They want to put that 2 nothing pressure on them to make them have to hold serve at home. Okay, in the National Hockey League, of course, the big story, the Tampa Bay Lightning, they win the Stanley Cup one game to nothing, beat the Montreal Canadiens, win the series four to one. And a team that has only been around since 1992, since 1992, they already have three world championships in the Stanley Cup. Of course, they won the first one back in 03, 04, and now they've won back-to-back -back titles dating back to last year's bubble tournament, whatever you want to call it. So the Tampa Bay Lightning, congratulations to them. They are your world hockey champions. Major League Baseball today, we've got, oh, by the way, really cool thing, if you Googled the Tampa Bay Lightning and you, and you go to that page, uh, stars fireworks whatever you want to call them they're exploding on the page today so that that's a pretty cool thing that they did with google uh okay today in major league baseball we've got a decent slate it's you know a, a lot of these thursday slates are very very slow but you've got a game at, at 12 10 eastern gets it all going dodgers and marlins it should be a good pitching matchup urias versus alcantara and then at two o'clock Big game for the A's and Astros, Montas versus McCullers. And then later on this afternoon, the Yankees play it for the Mets are playing at 710 Eastern Brubaker versus Walker and the Phillies and Cubs. They'll finish their series off tonight at eight o'clock Eastern Eflin versus Alzale Reds Brewers gets going today. That should be a fun series Mail versus Hauser and out West. If you're up late tonight, nine o'clock Eastern, if the basketball game gets out of out of reach, whatever, you got a really good pitching matchup. You Darvish versus Max Scherzer. So you definitely like that. You 
that is definitely a game that if you are up and you can pay it and you can watch that game, that should be a lot of fun. I can't imagine the same people that are going to be watching Wimbledon this morning are going to be watching the U Darvish versus Scherzer showdown. So pick your spots and watch your sports. As far as that, pretty slow news day so far in the world of sports is we're getting really close to NFL camps opening up. They'll be opening in about a week or so, and uh, definitely we'll have more to report every day. Major League Baseball obviously going all the way through, and they're coming to the end of their first half of their season. Sunday marks the all-star break, and then they will resume the following uh, few days after that. So during that break, we will do a take me out to the ball game, but it'll be very short, obviously, because there won't be games to, uh, to cover except for depending on how far the NBA finals goes. All right. We will see you tomorrow. Uh, same bat time, same bat channel armchair quarterback show. Take me out to the ball game. Go out and take yourself out to the ball game today. I'm taking myself out to a, uh, a, a concert. Me and the wife should have a lot of fun. We'll see you tomorrow. Take me out to the ball.